The dental school has been in existence since 1920. I think one of the major attributes we have is that we have an intake of 60 dental students each year. That's relatively small compared to other UK dental schools. And I think that's a benefit to us because we get to know our students really well. Uh, we know them as individuals and it means that we can tailor uh, our teaching uh, in a more personalised way for our students. So that's a huge benefit for us. So I've always had an interest in dentistry from a very young age. Um, we knew the dentists around us very well in terms of locally and uh, never had a bad experience with them. So every time I went, it was great. I always loved the way they were so nice and calm to you, the way they would calm you down and chat with you. And then whenever I came to school, I looked into it a bit more when I came to apply for, for uh, degrees and I thought it was really good. So the course is a five year course. It is hands on right from first year all the way through to fifth year. The majority of hands on is in first and second year and then you move on to clinics, that's patient clinics, third to final year. We would have a mixture of face-to-face -face lectures, workshops, tutorials, and also practical classes. Again, with first years, we start our practical classes very early, so really from first week of first term for our first years. So in first year, um, they give us, they added some more scientific backgrounds. So you would talk, you would do anatomy and physiology, and that was good because they incorporated practicals into that. So you go into the anatomy lab and look at specimens and see how they're related to what you're doing, especially the head and neck region in terms of dentistry. And then physiology was great also because then it had the other aspect of it where they gave us practicals as well about how the body works. And apart from the practicals and the lectures that we did, we had clinical attachments in the School of Dentistry itself, which is good. So basically we get to see how the consultants and the supervisors interact with patients, how the treatment process goes from start to finish, how they do methods to keep them nice and calm and how they make the process go as smooth as possible. Um, you'll get some modules on patient management as well as, well as behavioural science and our clinical techniques course. So I teach on the clinical techniques course and those are the skills that you will learn in this lab, clinical techniques lab, first of all, and then you'll carry those out on our patient clinics. So anything we would expect you to perform on a patient, you would initially learn here in clinical techniques. In third, fourth and fifth year, you are put onto clinics. So you have your own um, unit where um, you have a chair, you have all your instruments, so we make sure the student has access to a full range of patients so that they get to see a lot of different conditions to make a lot of different diagnoses. But you do have your own phantom head where you can work on plastic teeth. So within a school of dentistry you've got different uh, sections or departments. So the one here currently is conservation, so that's to do with fillings or just general treatment that you would do as a dentist. And then at the very bottom you've got your radiography department that you have placements in. So as you progress they get you to teach you how to take x-rays, how to do the whole process, the best way of positioning. And it's good to sort of see every single aspect. It's very hands-on which I find good and very interactive. They ask a lot of questions and it's, it's, it really helps with the lectures. After second year, but primarily after third year, our students have that opportunity to take a year away from their dental studies to do an intercalated degree. And students, we're also very keen for students to enter competitions. And we have an excellent record of success in probably the most important undergraduate dental competition, which is run by the International Association for Dental Research. And over the last sort of 15 years, we've had six winners in that competition. So, so generally in summer, there's a number of summer studentships available. Um, and generally a lot of the senior teachers within the dental school are, um, have the opportunity to have projects for students and a number of them have led to um, either poster presentations at conferences and even some of the ones that have been involved with have actually led to publication in um, international journals so for the students they find them very rewarding. We have a really good support system for our students so every student will have an academic tutor who if they have any issues they can see and the academic tutor will see the students regularly throughout the year as well. So we tend to have a lot of support for those students. You know our specialist knowledge but also our attendance of the courses helps with that and obviously if we're keeping ourselves up to date and we're making sure that our teachers are up to date that, that's very very beneficial to the students because it means that the course is continually being modified. I think there is a real unique friendly atmosphere at Queen's. I really do think they are a lovely family. I think all of our students and coming from all over the UK and internationally 
will be really welcomed here and being made to feel absolutely part of Queen's and also belonging in Northern Ireland.